Well, some cougars are nursing two eagles back to health. Washington State cougars, that is. The alien raptors were discovered on the side of the road near Colville. Now they're fighting to stay alive in Pullman. KXY 4's Autumn Wells traveled to WSU's College of Veterinary Medicine today to find out the reasons for the bird's serious illness. People in the inland northwest have the luxury of seeing bald eagles flying over lakes searching for prey in the waters below. But between the months of November and March, drivers see bald eagles on the side of the road, sick and malnourished. It's a problem the WSU vet school sees all too often. Hi, bud. Two bald eagles, a five-year-old male named Carpenter and a three-year-old female named Jordan, were brought here on Tuesday and are slowly recovering from what is believed to be lead poisoning. Very sick. This bird should have tried to bite me when I grabbed him. He should have been fighting. Um, and obviously he's not fighting at all now. Dr. Nicole Finch says cases of sick eagles being brought to WSU increase significantly during the winter months, with a high percentage of them suffering from lead poisoning. Where it's coming from has wildlife experts still searching for answers. Right now we're treating them with a chelator to try and remove any lead that's in their blood. The high levels of lead slowly break down the eagle to where they don't have the stamina to prey on live animals. Instead, they resort to feeding on roadkill, which is where the dehydrated and starving eagles are usually found. It's heartbreaking to see these magnificent birds so listless, lifeless, longing to spread their wings and fly away. Not the image one usually has when thinking of the bird that represents freedom, now being fed through an IV. Yeah, she's, I think we've got her well hydrated now or at least a little bit more better hydrated. Test results will come in next week to see just how much lead Carpenter and Jordan have in their frail bodies. Finch says they have had success in the past rehabilitating eagles in the same predicament. But right now, she's giving these two a 30% chance of survival. And nursing these raptors back to health costs quite a bit of money. This here is Gwen. It cost about $400 to get her healthy again. Now, as for Jordan and Carpenter, it's already cost the school hundreds of dollars. So, of course, donations are always accepted. It's what keeps this school running. Reporting in Pullman, Autumn Wells, KXLY4.